Hey guys, it's Melanie and this is my makeup storage video. I was going to say collection, but I'm not really going to be going through individual items. I do have my 2015 makeup collection series that I will have linked down below for you guys. So if you're interested, go and check that out if you haven't seen those videos. It's divided by like different makeup products like blushes, palettes, drugstore eyeshadows, high-end eyeshadows, etc. So today I'm going to take you through how I store my everyday makeup, so makeup that I use when I get ready on a daily basis. I'm also going to take you through my Alex 9 drawer and show you how I organize some of the things in here. Now, I'm going to be redoing my storage within the Alex 9 drawer this year, and so it's going to be changing, and I have some ideas for it, but I thought I would show you guys what I have now so that you can compare it to the after. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started with the desk over here. So, by the way, this is the Leah Torp desk from uh, Ikea, so I will try to put the name of it down below for you. So I always keep a towel out for myself. I just changed this out. It looks like it has stains on it, but it's just like mascara and stuff. So um, I change this towel out usually every couple days. So most of my brushes get stored in either little containers that I find at TJ Maxx. So I love all things mercury glass. So there's just a couple of TJ Maxx mercury glass containers here. I keep cotton swabs in here. Um, Brushes also get stored in, these basically used to be, I believe this was a, a Harry and David candle, <laughs> and then that was a Victoria's Secret candle, so I just clean those containers out and then I reuse them for other things. Um, this is where I keep my lipsticks, my lip balms, my powder foundation, my various primers, um, the mineral veil doesn't really... So, well, yeah, it's going to stay. So um, that's where I keep that stuff. This is where I keep, this is ridiculous. This is what I record on. This is what I set my camera on. I know I've said for many, many moons that I'm going to get a tripod, but it's always the last thing that I'm thinking about when I'm at Target. So anyway, this is what my camera sits on. Um, so mascaras and... Um, liners and brow powders in there and then any cheek and eyeshadows sit in this guy here and by the way this is from ikea as are these little guys here they were from ikea a couple years ago so i don't know if they still have them but i basically just find a bunch of cute little different containers and then divide my products up so that i know like okay when i want to reach for a brow product i go for this one if i want to reach for a lipstick i know all my lipsticks are right here so it just sort of helps me keep things organized. This bag, I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. Not much of a sneak peek there. These are the things that I have already cleaned out of my collection after my initial purge. I'm going to be going through this with you guys to show you what I'm getting rid of and why. And then some things are going in the trash and some things are getting sanitized in a sanitation video, which I will also show you. Um, and then they will get passed along to my nieces. For those of you that are going to suggest that I donate them to a women's shelter, the women's shelters in my area do not want used makeup. So that's not an option. <laughs> Besides, I like giving the stuff to my nieces. So anyway, that video will be coming up shortly. Now let's take a look over here. So this is the Alex 9 drawer system from Ikea. It is super handy. My only goal in life is to not outgrow this. So any makeup that I buy has to fit in here or I have to stop buying makeup or I have to get rid of old makeup. So <laughs> um, this is it. Like I'm not going to be buying another one of these unless it's for like my business to like store receipts and files and other things like that. But this will not grow anymore with makeup. <laughs> um, so on the top drawer, I have what is left of my drugstore eyeshadow collection. And then I also put my false lashes back here um, so that they're easily accessible. And you can see, like, I just have a kind of a hodgepodge of containers. Some things work better than others. I have found that ice cube trays are super duper handy. You may be seeing some more of these <laughs> when my revised storage video comes out. But um, yeah, these just work really, really great to keep things 
just very neat and organized much better actually than these guys by the way i believe i got these at like walmart or something so um those are all the drugstore eyeshadows next we have high-end eyeshadows that are like singles or smaller sizes again just kind of a hodgepodge of containers this i think some fancy soap came in at some point um so it works you know it definitely keeps things neat and tidy but it is a little bit harder to sometimes find what I'm looking for. Since I've gotten rid of quite a bit, it's a lot easier for me to find what I'm thinking of. But, um, you know, it, this could be better, which is why we're going to improve upon this. Anyway, that's what's left of high-end, single, smaller palette eyeshadows. These are um, pigments eye primers, cream bases, pencils, spoolies, lash glue, all kinds of other fun things. So these containers I actually got at the dollar store and I think I got three of them in a pack. Um, I really don't actually care for these and I'm going to definitely be transitioning these out. Um, it, I don't know exactly what it is I don't like about them but Things just really do tend to get even a little bit more messy in here because they, they're not stiff and so it's very easy to just keep cramming things in and they get kind of like bent out of shape easily. I don't know. If you're on a super tight budget, definitely start at the dollar store or start at the dollar section uh, in Target. You can find some really great little things. But frankly, here we are again with... Um, the ice cube trays and look how well this works for cream shadow bases like they fit perfectly in here i mean everything from the smashbox to mac um to estee lauder and uh color tattoos from maybelline they just fit really really nicely so check out ice cube trays <laughs> they seem to work really well for a lot of things um Again, more of these dollar store containers. These are all of my blushes, single blushes that I have left. So this is not ideal at all. And I really do need this to change um, because it's quite difficult for me to find things in here. I actually got rid of a fair amount of blush. It probably doesn't look like it. Um, but I did get rid of quite a bit. So, but it's hard, like I can't even get to like the stuff back here. I have to take all these containers out and then like slide this forward. So it's just inconvenient. So this is a drawer that definitely needs fixing. If you have ideas, let me know down below. These are my blush palettes and then my bronzers, my highlighters, um, my contour powders, things of that nature. So this drawer isn't terrible. I mean, it's, you know, it's not ideal. I, it can certainly use some improving. Um, but, you know, there, it's, it's much better than when I had all of my blush crammed into just one of these drawers here. So, um... I may need to do some rearranging and I may get a better fit if I just switch things to different drawers because these drawers are also different sizes. So I have four of these larger ones and then one, two, three, four of the smaller guys. It's one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, there's five of the smaller drawers. Next drawer down is one of the bigger drawers and these are all of my face products. So um, any setting mists powder foundations, um, liquid foundations, BB creams, um, Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer, best thing ever, um, what do you call this stuff? Concealers. Now in here I started utilizing a lot of my empty Bath & Body Works 3 Wick candles. This works okay. This is not ideal. This is something that I need to change out because it just... I again it's a little bit harder to find things if I'm looking for a specific color in my everyday minerals base if it doesn't happen to be right on the top then I basically have to take like all of them out to get to the one that I want it could be at the bottom so I am looking into something different for this as well but 
This is currently what I have left of the face products after my first purge. There are still things that um, are going to come out of here in the next couple of days. I just needed a little bit more time to think about it. <laughs> Get oddly attached to things. Okay, this drawer is okay. Um, I find that the uh, Bath and Body Works three wick candle uh, glass <laughs> glasses do work well for keeping your lipsticks. It makes this drawer very heavy, um, and sometimes I worry about it, like you know, bowing out the bottom of the drawer because you can see I'm kind of lifting it up here. Um, so not ideal. Um, if I can find plastic containers similar to this, I may do that. I actually, um, I'm a florist and at the flower market they do have plastic containers very similar to this that some florists will put arrangements in. Um, so I may be picking up some of those just because they're gonna be a lot more lightweight. But I find that having different circular containers like this is great. Obviously there are some very nice lipstick holders out there. I don't know that I want to spend that much money on acrylic, but We'll see. I may find something nice at TJ Maxx or Home Goods at some point, and maybe I'll just pick those up. We'll have to see. Um, I cleaned a fair amount out of here. There's still a few more things that need to go, but again, I needed just a couple more days to like come to terms with that. Uh, the Beloved Palette Drawer. So I did, believe it or not, clean out a few of my palettes. Um, there's probably one or two more that are going to come out of here as well. But this is how they are currently stored. So they're just sort of lined up in there. Um, you know, there's, these are several deep. It's, I really do have to like basically take everything out to get to one near the bottom. It's not a huge deal because I only change out my palettes once a week, but if I'm like wanting something specific for a tutorial or a look, I do really have to like make an effort to get to what I want if it's back here or underneath these big guys. So anyway, um, like I said, there's a couple more things coming out. My rule for myself this year is that any, if I want to bring in a makeup palette, I have to get rid of another one. So I've gotten rid of about, I think, four or five. So um, I have the opportunity to get four or five, however many I end up getting rid of palettes this year. So um, I think that's fair. <laughs> if I'm not using something, I should definitely just get rid of it. So anyway, that is that drawer. So nothing fancy in there in terms of storage, um, just kind of piled in there. And this is my current perfume collection. I do like keeping it here in this particular drawer. I may need to empty this out so I can use it for um, more palettes or to organize these palettes a little bit better so that I can see what I have. I can always put this in my desk here. That's totally fine. I just want to make sure these are kept out of light and that they're kept like in a cool, dark um dry place and so that's why this drawer just kind of worked out perfectly but there's definitely room to clear these out and put them somewhere else so anyway that is it that is how i am currently storing all of my makeup in the alex nine drawers and on my desk so if you have suggestions definitely leave them down below i am open to ideas once i redo this i will film another video and let you guys know what I changed and how I think it's working and hopefully maybe give you some different ideas. So that's it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Again, if you missed my makeup collection series, um, look for that down below. It is broken up. If you only want to see blushes or palettes or whatever, it is broken up for you. So go ahead and head down into the description box and pick the video you want to watch. And I know you guys are curious about what's in there, so that'll be coming up very soon, I promise. <laughs> and there's Stella. <laughs> Can you say bye-bye? No? All right, I'll say goodbye to you. For you. <laughs> bye, guys.